Hey, remember back in January when I made that homemade pho video? Because I complained that making homemade pho takes way too long? Well, it looks like I complained too soon, because I learned in the weeks after that... You can make pho much more faster with the help of a pressure cooker. Now to make our pressure cooker oxtail pho, we'll need, duh, oxtail. About three pounds worth. Oh, and uh, looks can be deceiving. This oxtail may look nice and clean, or is it? Hey, oxtail. Uh, what's the best way to further racial justice in America? Oh, that's simple. You go on Twitter, harass random people, and post an unrelated gif of a K-pop star dancing. Ooh, wow, that's pretty scummy. So, there's only one thing we have to do. Boil the daylights out of it! So I plate our oxtail in a pot full of water, and I'm going to set it to boil. And uh, while we're waiting for that to uh, come to a boil, take one onion, quartered, and take one knob of ginger and slice it widthwise. And stick it under the broiler for 10 to 15 minutes or until you have a nice char. The reason why we're doing this is because we want our pho to have a nice, clean broth. And if we don't do this, it's gonna get all cloudy and yucky. So boil the oxtail until all the scum comes off. Yeah, now this, this is the pho ruiner right here. So we gotta get rid of it. So just grab yourself a little uh, strainy thing like this. Scoop up the scum. And just uh, dump this in the sink. Okay, when most of the scum has come off, turn off the heat pour our bones into a colander, and rinse them off with cold water. Okay, our meat should be nice and scum-free. Don't believe me? Let's ask it. Hey, Oxtail, uh, should we hit our kids in order to discipline them? Absolutely not. Hitting your children can lead to serious mental health problems like depression, alcoholism, anxiety, and suicide in some cases. Truer, non-scummy words have never been spoken. Anyway, with the meat clean, grab our pressure cooker pot. Toss in our meat. Our charred aromatics from earlier. One head of garlic with the bottom chopped off. And now, this part's optional, but I'm going to toss in some green onions. I bought too much green onions and I need to get rid of them, so why not put it in the pot? Now for our spices. One tablespoon of whole cloves. Two bay leaves. A tablespoon and a half of fennel seeds. One cinnamon stick. And five star anise pods. Now I know you're supposed to use rock sugar, but I can't find any, so you can use regular sugar. Uh, three teaspoons worth to do. Cover everything with enough water. Set it to do bars of pressure. All right, once it starts doing this, it comes up the pressure. So turn the heat down to medium low and let it go for 60 to 90 minutes. And after 90 minutes, pour the contents into a colander and put that colander in a larger bowl to capture the broth. You had one job! <laughs> okay, now that we separated the meat from the broth, let's put it in a gravy separator. Well, anyway, let's set this aside while it separates. And let's get the meat off the ox bone. And, um, yeah, I think you can tell that this was a complete success. All right, once you got 
most, if not all of it. Uh, discard the stuff. Anyway, next up, pour it into a separate sauce pot. Finally, let's season our broth with fish sauce. How salty you like it, it's up to you. I'd start off at a teaspoon. Perfect. Okay, here we are back at the stove. I got a pot full of water and a pot full of our pho broth. All right, set the pot of water to, to boil. Well. Okay, the water has come to a boil. And now let's add six ounces of rice noodles. I'd grab a bigger pot, but I already used it to boil the bones. Let it cook for six to eight minutes. Transfer the noodles into a serving bowl. And using a pair of chopsticks, layer on some thinly sliced beef. Then throw on some oxtail. Then comes my favorite part. Pouring the hot broth onto our pho. It's ready to dig in. Actually, not quite yet. We still need to decorate this with the typical pho accoutrement. Pho accoutrement, if you will. Like green onions, cilantro, lime, and uh, top it off with a little sriracha and dig right in. Mm. Forgot to remove a bone. Man, if I ate that, that would have led to some weird creepy pasta. Number 12, oxtail bone found in pho. YouTube chef CRJ was about to dine in on a bowl of homemade pho. That's when he came across an oxtail bone he thought he caught, but he missed. Had he ate it, he would have died. When reached for comment, CRJ said, Listen, it's been a long ass day and I'm tired. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok and support me on Patreon. Hmm. I should probably update this outro to let you guys know that I'm now on TikTok.